हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर सेफ एट होम स्टूडेंट टूडे वी विल गोइंग टू लर्न जी के यूनिट नंबर ट्वेंटी सिक्स द ओल्ड एंड न्यू पार्ट टू सो नाउ लेट्स लर्न अबाउट अवर टॉपिक मैच द ओल्ड नेम ऑफ कंट्रीज विथ देयर न्यू नेम्स सो नाउ वी मैच द ओल्ड नेम ऑफ कंट्रीज विथ देयर न्यू नेम्स सो हियर वी सी मेसोपोटेमिया सो मेसोपोटेमिया इज ओल्ड नेम ऑफ इराक so here we can see a uh, mesopotamia is a old name of iraq so here we can see a photograph of iraq or a map of iraq so it's a mesopotamia is a old name of iraq m e s o p o t a M I A Mesopotamia is now Iraq. New name this country's new name is Iraq. I R A Q Iraq. So the word Mesopotamia is formed from the ancient word Meso and the meaning. between or in the middle of and potamos is meaning river so is situated in the fertile valleys between the tigris and uh, euphrates rivers so the region is now home to modern day iraq Kuwait to uh, Turkey and Syria so the world mesopotamia is formed from the ancient word meso and its meaning between or and the middle of the potamus so it's a re, uh, meaning river so mesopotamia is old name country old name of iraq so here also we can see a uh, ancient mesopotamia is look like that ancient mesopotamia is look like that so mesopotamia the name means the land between the rivers so here we can see rivers so many rivers here also rivers here also and here so uh, in the meaning mesopotamia means the land between the rivers refers to the geographic region which lies near the tigris and euphrates rivers and many civilization developed collapsed and were replaced so children you all are understand that mesopotamia is a old name of iraq so now new name is iraq okay now let's learn about next slide and it's a ruhodesha so it's spell r h o d e s i a ruhodesha is old name of zimbabwe so now it's a zimbabwe z i m b a B W E Zimbabwe is the new name 
of Aroha Desha. So here we can see a map of a Zimbabwe or Aroha Desha. So it's a from 12 December 1979 to 17 April 1980, Zimbabwe Aroha Desha was again the British colony of Southern Rhodesia on 18 April. Southern Rhodesia became the independent republic of Zimbabwe. So, Rhodesia is the old name of Zimbabwe and Zimbabwe is a new name of Rhodesia. So, here we see uh, Zimbabwe officially the Republic of Zimbabwe is a land of locked country, land locked country located in Southern Africa between the Zimzi and Limpopo rivers and its border South Africa to the south. Bostwana to the west, Zimbabwe, uh, Zimbia to the northwest and Mozambique to the east and the capital and largest city is Harare. So, Zimbabwe officially the Republic of Zimbabwe is a landlocked country located in South Indian Africa. So, here almost all of Zimbabwe's people are black Africans and belong to the Sohna peoples and their political history was being troubled and violent. All the Zimbabwe people are black Africans and belong to the Sona people and their political history has been troubled and violent. By AD 1000, the Sona people had built Great Zimbabwe which means house of stone and smaller sona trending empires successed great Zimbabwe. So here also we see a flag of Zimbabwe. So children you all are understand Rohdesha is the old name of Zimbabwe now it Rhodesia is now Zimbabwe. So now we are going to learn next slide and it's a new media. New media is now Algeria. So here new media is the old name of Algeria. It's spelled N U M I D I A New Media and now its new name Algeria A L G E R I A Algeria. So children, here we can see a map of New Media and uh, it's also called Algeria. Now it's called Algeria. So, Tipaza is the ancient city with a historical, historic Numidian masules and the expansional Punic Roman and Christian ruins along the Mediterranean Mediterranean's coast since 1982. So, Al Algeria has a history of more than 2000 years full of good periods. But 
also periods where the territory was conserved contributing at the same time in fostering the people's determination for freedom and the taking advantage of various cultural and civilization contributions so algeria algeria has a history of more than 2000 years full of good periods but also a periods where the territory was conquered contributing at the same time in fostering the people's determination for freedom and in taking advantage of various cultural and civilization contribution so therefore there is the berber period with juguta and unit the region of juguta's grandfather masiniasa the people of numidia were semi nomadic and industrialisable and masinsa established a kingdom and uh, become a roman roman ally in 206 before christ so the expressions of islam occurred afterwards in north africa contributing through the population going to build the islamic civilization in andru luxia current spain so children numidia is now algeria so old name is numidia and new name is algeria so children you all are understand now ussr is old name and now new name is russian federation r u double s i a n f e d e r a t i o n russian federation so it's a new name of u s s r so children here we can see a map of a russian federation or russia history so russia or the russian federation is a transcontinental country spanning eastern europe and northern asia in extend from the baltic sea in the west the pacific ocean in the east and from the arctic ocean in the north to the black azov and caspian sea in the south so russian federation is a transcontinental country spanning eastern europe and northern asia it extend from a baltic sea in the west to the pacific ocean in the east and the from the arctic ocean in the north to the black ozo and caspian sea in the south so children in 1991 Twelve of fifteen republic former USSR formed a, com a Commonwealth of the Independent State, and three Baltic states chose the independence. So Russian Federation was the biggest state in the CIS. 
ट्वेंटी रिपब्लिक्स एंड रेडिकल रिफॉर्म्स अंडर अ यल स्टील सो चिल्ड्रंस यू ऑल आर अंडरस्टैंड डेट ना यू एस एस आर इज नाव अ रशियन फेडरेशन न्यू नेम इज द रशियन फेडरेशन सो नाव वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अ नेक्स्ट लाइड एंड इट्स गोल्ड कॉस्ट इज ओल्ड नेम ऑफ घाना 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 इज द न्यू नेम ऑफ गोल्ड कॉस्ट सो हियर वी सी अ मैप ऑफ घाना एंड द गोल्ड कोस्ट इज ओल्ड नेम ऑफ घाना सो इट्स जी ओ एल डी सी ओ ए एफ टी गोल्ड कोस्ट नाव घाना जी एच ए एन ए घाना सो द गोल्ड कोस्ट वॉज अ ब्रिटिश क्राउन कॉलोनी ऑन द गल्फ ऑफ जूनियर इन वेस्ट आफ्रिका फ्रॉम एटीन ट्वेंटी वन टू इट्स इंडिपेन्डन्स एज अ पार्ट ऑफ द नेशनल ऑफ घाना इन नाइनटीन फिफ्टी सेवेन सो द ट्रम गोल्ड कास्ट इज ऑल्सो ऑफन यूज टू डिस्क्राइब ऑल ऑफ द फोर separate jurisdict jurisdictions that were under the administration of the governor of the gold coast so the gold coast was a british crown colony on the gulf of junia in the west africa from 1821 so K uh, this is a case study about the british colony case study from gold coast to ghana so this is a case study about the british colony of the gold coast and how it become a sub saharan africa's first independent state in 1957 under the leadership of Kremlin uh, and and Kruma and the region in which the British established the Gold Coast colony was a purpose purposes one where farming and gold mining has given rise to the highly profitable trend with the Europe. and the north africa as the early the 17th century and at that time it was uh, dominated by the akan speaking astan who had established a strong state at the end of the 17th century ruled by a king called the astanthan so now ghana is the new name of gold coast so children you all are understand about ghana so now we are going to learn next slide and it's a persa so it's a new name is iran so persa so p e r s i a persa is old name of iran so here we can see a photograph or a map of iran so in 1935 the ira iranian government requested those countries which it had diplomatic relation with to call persia and Iran which is the name of country in Persian the suggestion for the change is said to have come from the Iranian 
Iranian ambassador to Germany who came under the influence of the Nazis. So, Iran is a new name of Persia. So, historically known as Persia you, until 1935 when Reza Shah Pahlavi asked for the country to be called by its native name and Iran means a land of the Aryans. So, Persia derived from the ancient Greek name from Iran, Persis name comes from a region and South Aryan Iran called Pars. So, children, you all are understand that Persia is the old name of Iran. Now, Iran is the new name of Persia. So, now we are going to learn next slide and it's a Ceylon is now new name Sri Lanka. So, it's a spell C-E-Y-L-O-N, Ceylon, it's now Sri Lanka, S-R-I-L-A-N-K-A, -A, Sri Lanka. So, here we can see a map of Sri Lanka or a Ceylon. So, in May 1972, Ceylon was proclaimed a republic and changed its name from Ceylon to the Republic of Sri Lanka. And in 1978, two Democratic Socialist Republic of Sri Lanka, all army units were renamed accordingly. So, Silong is the old name and Sri Lanka is the new name of Silong. So, Sri Lanka is the name of the Iceland earlier known as Silong. And it's situated of the southeastern tip of India, separated by 22 miles of sea, called the Black Strait, and it's covered an area of 25,322 uh, 25, square miles almost the size of Ireland or Trasmania and has a total population of 18 million. So, evidence for presence of the Tamil and Sh uh, Shinhala people in the Iceland dates back to over 2,500 years and the Iceland and three separate kingdoms when first invaded by the Europeans. So, Sri Lanka is the new name of Ceylon. So, it's a Ceylon changed Sri Lanka. So, children, so you, under, you all are understand about this new name. So, now we are going to learn next slide and it's a Shaim, S-I-A-M. Shaim is now new name, Thailand. So, it's spelling S-I-A-M, Shaim is new name, Thailand. T H A I L A N D Thailand. So here we can see a Thailand map and the name Shyam come from Sanskrit word Shyam. Shyam. So a forceful nationalist and modern modernizer. He changed the country's name to Thailand. 
and the change was a part of freeborn's determination to bring his people into the modern world and at the same time to emphasize their unique identity so thailand is united in mid 14th century as a shyam and to name thailand in 1938 and national religion is trivandra buddhism and become a constitutional monarchy in 1932 and subject of the broadway musical the king and and i so uh, alighted with us during the vietnam name conflict major r and r center tourism and aids facing armed muslim violence in south so uh, now thailand is a new name of shyam so children in today's lecture we learn about a, a new name and old name of countries so children now we are doing exercise on it so question uh, first b match the old name of the countries with their new names so here we see old name and here new name so first mesopotamia so mesopotamia is the old name of so mesopotamia is the old name of iraq so its a new name is iraq and old name is mesopotamia so now next number 2 rohadesha so rohadesha is a old name of zimbabwe so zimbabwe is a new new name of rohadesha and also you will see a uh, victoria falls in a zimbabwe so in a rohadesha is a old name and now its new name is zimbabwe so zimbabwe is a new name and uh, here we see victoria falls so now number 3 new media so new media is a old name and new name is algeria so algeria is a new name of new media so children you all are understand that new media is a new name old name and new name is algeria now number 4 ussr so ussr is a old name and new name is a russian federation so russian federation is a new name of ussr children you all are write in your notebook with me okay now number 5 gold coast so gold coast is an old name of ghana so ghana is a new name of gold coast now number 6 persa so persa is a old name and new name is a uh, iran so iran is a new name of persa now number 7 ceylon so ceylon is a old name and new name is a sri lanka sri lanka is a new name of ceylon so now number 8 and last shyam shyam is a old name and new name is a uh, thailand so here we can see arevan waterfalls in a uh, thailand so here also we find a uh, arevan waterfalls so in thailand 
uh, is a new name of Siam. So, children, in today's lecture, we learn about a old name of countries with their new name. So, children, you all are right in your book. So, you all enjoy. Hope you all learn and enjoy this lecture. So, students, I will see you next time. Also, students, don't forget to wash your hand regularly. Eat healthy food. Stay home and stay safe. Bye-bye, students.